Hi there. Um, this is a flip through of this little journal I call Feathers and Flowers. Um, where to start with this one? Um, well, it's, it's a mini. It measures approximately four and a half high by three and a quarter or so wide. And the spine is about two inches or so. Um, this is the top view. It's got lots of lots of textures and all kinds of goodies peeking out. The bottom is all um, textured. The spine. I'm gonna change it up a little bit on this one. I just I put some ribbon, weave some ribbon in through the signatures, and. Um, the closure, I'll show you the back in a sec. The closure I just kind of made, it's removable. So I just used some, I um, used some ink dyed, I think it's a linen material. It's a, it's a really nice, it's nice for dyeing. It's nice for working with inks and stuff too. And then I just put a vintage button on so that when you close it, you just hold it down, wrap it around, of course, a lot neater than that and then you just wrap it around Boop. you wrap it around the button but anyway okay sorry about all the movement I forget about people will say Anna stop you're making me motion sick with all the movement okay so the back this one I collaged um, I collaged and um, just use a really pretty bird napkin added some flowers and stuff there's a, a view of the front. You can see I put the little brass, little brass corner protectors. Um, all my journals are really, really, um, oh, what's the word? Reinforced so that the cover is like, they're gonna last forever. You know, despite what I use for the cover, I always make sure there's additional, additional card stock or heavy duty paper, paper stock be sure that they're not not gonna fall apart or bend or any of that kind of stuff and then the folds are always reinforced with book binding tape so they're not gonna come apart okay on this front page here first page um, I take the lace and I just I copy dye it and then I kind of distress it so it looks all oh I hope you can see that grungy um, I tucked into this one a little a little accordion fold out because these are such a, obviously <laughs> tiny tiny little journals um, I still want them to be usable I want people to be able to put their own you know personal touches and use them for use them use them for writing use them for keeping little memories and notes and stuff so I try to add you know lots of lots of tags and um, additional writing space just adorable adorable little bird here on the first page then with all my journals I uh, well the little mini ones anyway I um, rather than putting tassels and stuff I, I try to make these little tassel paper clips so that you can remove the paper clip and you can just use it on whichever page you're working on so for instance because the way I create these journals I they're the tuck spots are built right into the page most of them and so when you take it out you can get lost because you know, you'll be sitting there if you're writing on something and then the page turns and you go oh my god where did I where did I put that or where did the card belong so if you use your little your little paper clip and you just put it on the page you're working on then if it folds and closes you know you know where you're at and then if you don't recall where the the spot is you just kind of rub your finger on the page and you can you can feel you can feel where it's it goes or where it belongs so that's that little floral journaling card I'll bring this back over here for now um, as always I just I just think I have the best digitals I, I just there's I the creators, I love the creators that I buy my digitals from. They're all amazing, amazing creators. Um, the signatures have, I left the, 
the binding threads on and then I put I put these extra little circles and I always I use them personally just I put words or little might little stuff on the back or I might paste a little picture or a little miniature picture of something on there um, but if you don't like them you can just cut them off and you glue down the, t the two ends of the thread and there you have it um, little sayings I, I put random little sayings throughout mostly positive just just positive little affirmations or prompts um, free to fly all the tags I've used um, I hand stamped they've got flowers and feathers and stuff stamped on them um, this is a little charm with some green beads and a leaf and then I've got the little leaf you know that stuff everybody knows that stuff it's rolls and rolls of it botanical journals pretty pretty blank page just to enjoy the enjoy the the art um, I love these little they're like little pol Polaroid it's like a, a bird collector's book really um, taking pictures of birds and just collecting them um, this my little lace pocket here and I've coffee dot it and made it look grungy and distressed and got this little bird on there. This card is just um, stenciled with some inks, blank on the back. Every page I've, all my journals, I, I um, machine stow, sew around every single page so it's kind of like its own little, little picture. It gives it a frame. And this little, it's so just adorable, adorable little bird. And the bird tag. And the book. Link on the back for writing. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm still learning. I'm still learning how to do these videos. And, and, you know, I apologize. I'm not by any stretch of the imagination. I have no idea what I'm really doing. I just, I put these videos up just so that people have an idea of what they're buying. It gives them a better idea of each page. Um, I added little, little green foresty looking beads to the, the signature. Created a little window and put a bird in the back. Tag, tab, another Polaroid journaling card. I just love these little birds. And we've got the flowers. This is the flowers part of the feathers and flowers. There's another bird in a window here I put in. Um, a couple of tags in a, in a tuck spot. And also, I don't know if you can see, but down at the bottom I just added this little charm dangle. And then there's a journaling card and a little little yellow flower with a bling bling because I love my bling bling it's got to be in every journal a little bit of bling 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 is it still in in frame am I still in frame here I hope so oh where was I okay next page next page another little Polaroid bird another one I try to at least, you know, I try to put at least one tag or some kind of at least a little bit of space on every page for a little bit of journaling, but some of them you can obviously write right around all the beautiful pictures. I put another little butterfly behind this little grunged up, torn up little window. Um, just some extra threads, tab, little postcard. And this because I, I staple I staple these little tabs on sometimes I'll go the extra little bit of distance and just cover up the staples so you're not catching on anything catching your fingers there's a little lace flip up with discover another little tag a little side tuck I left this one open on the top so that you could put bigger pieces of ephemera or your own little personal stuff in there. Little wildflower tag. Another little, just just a little, a couple little beads. I think this stone is um, adventuring or it's a natural stone with a couple of beads. 
beautiful digitals. Use your wings. I added a little bluebird Polaroid journaling card. Some William Morris greenery. There's my bling bling flower. Polaroid. Again, you can see I I uh, grunged up and added this coffee dyed and ink dyed music paper, book paper, sewed it right onto the signatures. Just it's just it looks just gives it that little added grunge and um, interest to the pages. I used a little bit of texture paste stamping or stenciling, sorry. Uh, another little tag and. Uh, Hand inked lace with a little brad. There's a little vintage button on a flower. Magical. Another little bird Polaroid. This little bird sitting amongst the flowers, I added them in for a little tuck spot. Some more of that leaf. Um, a little scrappy, a little scrappy extra little booklet to write in with some little tags, drilling, drilling tags. And there's a lace belly band with a tag. This ribbon, oh, I didn't know where to use it, but it just it fits so well. Like at least I think so. In this particular journal, just with all the greens and. It just seemed to fit in. And here's another little little bird in a window. There's a little mini, just a little mini um, pocket with a tag. And there's a wild wild tag. And I had to I had to cut a hole. I had to cut a hole in here again. I do this like I cut holes now. I figured this out. <laughs> you cut holes when you've got the brads on your tags so that the brads don't push push into your page and create the dents and overall um, yeah so when you you have this page and you can see the little butterfly peeking through and then when you turn the page you got the little bird in the window here and then of course there's a lace pocket tag this little little butterfly with this little antenna um, another tag. Oh. There's another, another window for a tag. In the middle of the signature has the nice sage green or forest green bead stangles. This page. I had to do it. I had to put the little feather. Um, no, no birds were harmed in the making of this journal. I got these online. Um, there's another little grungy spot, but I made this little, little, um, extra, extra little booklet, and you can just, I think there's quite a few pages, probably about eight or so pages that you can use for writing, writing space. And the little flower moves. You just make sure the, the brads stick through the window. Um, another belly band, the little tag, lace with a little bit of, I put the burlap that matches the burlap on the front. Two more Polaroids, then I just um, texture paste stenciled on the pages. Oh, in there. Tags, third. Third related tags for journaling on. Tab. Another good size journaling card. And, uh, oh, this little guy is so adorable. So adorable. And there's a side tuck you can add your own stuff in there. And the last page is this little bird postcard. And the back has the lace pocket. 
with another journaling, another accordion journaling space tag. It's back. So, oh, yeah, the material I've hand, uh, you know, used inks to stain it up and make it look all grungy, and I've sewed it in and hand stamped some flowers and botanical wing creatures. I'm not sure, I think the front. I put a nice little bird, have the bird on the front again. Yeah, I did. He's just peeking out from behind everything. Oh, and this little, did I show this little scrappy? Another little scrappy booklet. I like these little, I make these little ones and I usually put them under, under the paper clips so that it's like a little, a little secret, a little secret journaling spot. You can just write a little special note to yourself or use it for whatever. Um, what page? I don't know where it goes. I will just put it right here. And there's, I don't know if I showed, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry if I showed this already, but um, yeah, so here's the paper clip and it's just got a little, a little vintage button with the bow and I put some little textured pieces on it with some bead dangles. So that is that. That is feathers and flowers. I know, I know somebody's going to just absolutely be in love with this, with this beauty. I'm sure it'll go to a good home, as always. All my journals go to good homes. Anyway, that's that. Thank you for watching, and um, yeah, if you have any questions, just contact me through Etsy.